Hi, welcome back to The Quilted Gardener. I had said in a previous video I was going to talk a little bit on Epsom salt. Um, like I said, this is just a basic Epsom salt. Um, two pounds, cost me like three something. So what Epsom salt is, is um, magnesium sulfate. It's just a byproduct um, from, you know, the salt mines. So it's a natural product. Um, you know, obviously you know to use it when, you know, to soak in a bathtub to re relieve um, swelling and etc. like that. Um, you can also make a colonic with it. I wouldn't suggest doing that um, unless you really know what you're doing and you've done it before. Um, and then, you know, uses in the garden. The biggest thing is, is getting magnesium back into your dirt. So, um, tomatoes need a lot of magnesium. And you'll know that your tomato needs magnesium when you see uh, I thought my zoom button was on this one, but it's not. When you see the yellowing in the in the um, leaf there, that's telling you it's magnesium deficient. Um, and I just made a big mess with dirt, sliding that over here. Um, so, and this was a transplant, and I mean it has several fruits on it. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven fruits and then oh more than that and then several blooms but be, you know when I noticed that it was turning yellow I was like oh I need to get some magnesium in there um, and the Epsom salt does that you can put a tablespoon down into your planting hole when you plant your tomato unfortunately I did not have just plain Epsom salt when I transplanted these I had lavender Epsom salt um, for you know bathing with and so the next best thing is to take a tablespoon, a tablespoon, a little more, um, but not much, into a gallon of water, let it um, dissolve, and then just water your plant with it. Um, when you go to a nursery and you notice plants are super, super green, what they have done is they have made a Epsom salt solution and they've sprayed the actual plant with it, so it absorbs into the leaves. Um, the magnesium helps to is in you know helps in the production of chlorophyll, which makes your plant green. So when the nursery wants your plants, you know their plants to look really green, really healthy, they spray the leaves. So it absorbs in there osmotically, and it causes the leaves to get super super green. So you think the plant is really healthy, when in reality it could have bad roots. It could have a disease in it, um, but they don't want you to know that. So by spraying it and absorbing it within about 24 to 36 hours, you're going to see a change in color of the leaves. Um, my tomatoes and my coffee plants both are going to get um, watered today. Once I get my water barrel back in here, I took it out to clean it um, and just didn't get to that point yesterday because I was redoing stuff in here. As you can see, I got the um, vapor barrier up over here. The other two walls are not getting done because it's opaque and I need, you know, straight light coming through. So, and then I got my other sections of shelving that need to go in, in which I've moved some things around over there. Um, and I still have to put some brackets up in order for me to get the rest of my shelving put back up because I still have two, two 12-foot sections to put up, which one is, you know, eight foot, one is four foot. Um, that way, if I need to move them up and down, I can. Because, you know, I'm using grow lights here pretty soon, so I want the grow lights to be able to be lowered and um, up and down as I need them for the height. So that's basically what Epsom salt is for, is to give your, your soil and your plants the magnesium that they need, which, you know, some soil, it'll say it has a good amount of magnesium in it, but depending on what it is, especially tomatoes, um, they will suck it right out of a pot in no time. So you do need to supplement it. And just, you know, the easiest way to do it is the tablespoon and a gallon of water and then water your plant very well. I mean, soak your plant so that the water is coming out on the first round and then water it as you normally would. And you can do it, you know, any time of the year. Mine are getting done because obviously it's, you know, quote unquote winter. Um, I think it's 32 degrees outside. So, and very overcast today. Um, but there's like a big pile of snow over there and it's kind of reflecting on me so that's why I have my hat on um, and I'm photosensitive so but with the um, 
noticing the change in your the veins mainly in your leaf my leaves are a little further along um, so you know the the deficiency is pretty good uh, but plus I you know it may be shocked as well from the transplant so my coffee plants have never been treated um, they've got to be given some um, liquid fertilizer today also so and I'm going to try it with my kale because I noticed my kale has some um, yellowing on it as well and I just transplanted all that so it's going to take it a bit for that to uh, bounce back and like I said I have some lettuce in the last video that's just not doing well it didn't bounce back um, and it's the ones that are like completely infiltrated by the white flies um, and the aphids so they're going to be becoming chicken snacks. Um, it's not like I don't have 10 million, you know, lettuce seeds. So I think that's it on magnesium sulfate because I mean I'm not a scientist. I'm sure you know some of you probably are, but not everybody is. Um, the biggest thing for the Epsom salt is, is to get magnesium back into your soil so that it's able to help produce more chlorophyll and. Um, also help with the photosynthesis process which is you know of course bringing it from the sun and converting it so that the plant stays green um, a lot of people will look at a plant and see that it's yellow and think oh my god it's dead it's dying get rid of it no it's just magnesium deficient so you know give it a, a little chance with the magnesium um, or the epsom salt in the water and see if it comes back if not then you know do a little bit more investigation before you get ready for plant um, I just saved three plants um, from Lowe's the other day that the only thing they needed was to be watered. Um, they were clearanced out for like three bucks a piece and I brought them home, gave them water and a small amount of liquid fertilizer and they bounced right back. So um, I just hate to see a plant thrown away that can be saved, especially if it's a food producer. Um, this tomato in particular is a cherry tomato and it is... Um, Dang. I can't think of the word now. Um, I want to say independent, but that's not it. Um, so it is one that does not bush, it vines. Um, so as this one grows, there will be a jute stream ran over here for it to go up. Um, one of them actually is going into a hanging basket so the tomatoes come down and they cluster like grapes so I do not have any bushing tomatoes that I transplanted because I didn't really have any last year um, I think maybe one remote Roma tomato and it didn't make it so um, you know and I've moved down all my lavender it's all you can't see it but it's up there um, and that's all gotta be watered today too so um, that's pretty much for my um, Epsom salt spiel. On to the next one. Until then, see ya.